talk and I never even see the chicken. Well, I'm gonna get my first chicken today and that's that. A snook? Well, I'm not after snooks. I'm after a chicken. I just caught myself a chicken. This is a dog, not a chicken. Chickens don't look like dogs. Who told you this was a chicken, son? Chicken or snook? In our oven, he'll look good. Yes, and thanks to our little friend, the Chicken Hawk, from Looney Tunes, with uh, Foghorn Leghorn, as we laugh at this little character trying to catch a chicken and doesn't know what a chicken is. But anyway, to all dismay, Cornish hens are chickens, here on Eating to Live. Cornish Game Hen is the USDA approved name for variety of broiler chicken, produced from a cross between the Cornish and White Plymouth Rock chicken breeds, that is served young and immature, weighing no more than 2 pounds ready to cook. Despite the name, the Cornish Game Hen is not a game bird and can be either male or female. Hello, Chef Tyree, back from our Christmas break, here on Eating to Live. Well, as you can tell, I haven't cut my beard off yet, but I think I might. Not too sure. Maybe you can put a comment in the bottom and uh, you can make a suggestion. Should I or should I not? Should I keep the beer? Should I keep it off? Too sandy-ish? Uh, people say, oh, I look like Moses. Remember this day Moses. when the strong hand <laughs> anyway, of the Lord today you we're gonna make out something of a little bit bondage. Different, a little bit unique. We're going to cook a Cornish hen. We're going to brine that bad boy in some orange juice. And we're going to cook it with some fresh garlic rosemary and onions so stay tuned as we come back from our christmas vacation hope everyone had a festive time and as we cook here on eating to live i'm just a piece of a two-part puzzle nothing on my own only happy when i'm loving someone happy when i'm loving someone one of the great beauties of uh, being outside in the outdoors is actually picking from our own little garden. So here, I'm gonna get the rosemary for my uh, Cornish hens. But anyway, picking from the garden, my refreshed rosemary for my Cornish hen. So the next step we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take the uh, Cornish hen out of their wrapper. We're gonna give them a nice little bath over here. Clean them up. And then we're going to put them inside a container with a little bit of uh, orange juice. Uh, we're going to brine them. Uh, I don't like brine it with just water and salt. I like to brine it with a little bit of flavor. You know what I'm saying? Like flavor flay. <laughs> All right. Did he just say flavor flay? I think he did. A lot of people get. Um, weirded out about eating a Cornish hen because, frankly, they have no idea what it is. Now here is what it's not. It's not balut. It's not a fertilized duck eggs like they eat in the Philippines. That is not. Verdos. It's not a baby chicken. Cornish hens are juvenile sized chickens. That means they're not adults and they're not babies. They're juveniles. We got our juveniles, Cornish hens, in our container. And now we're going to throw in some orange juice. Well, along with my orange juice, I threw in a couple of bay leaves, eh, just because I like the taste of it. So I would, I'm going to cover it up, and back in the refrigerator it goes, and till he's ready to go into the oven. Now we're back. They've been swimming in this beautiful orange um, brine water with a little bit of a base um, bay leaf. And here we have our um, rosemary that we picked from the garden and we're going to take those out. We have our uh, onion and garlic powder. Of course we have our fresh cracked pepper and our beautiful famous you know what salt. And here we have our rotisserie oven. Our skewer here and then we're going to put those little corner shans together and we're going to slap it in that bad boy. Okay, our little beautiful corner shans have been seasoned with um, 
black pepper, freshly cracked, of course, our Himalayan salt, our uh, garlic and onion powder, and uh, we got some of the rosemary in the outside. We got most of it on the inside because I know it's going to probably fall out. So that's why we put on the inside as well. That way, you know, the flavors get distributed once the uh, juices start to uh, incorporate with the uh, with the uh, rosemary. And so now we're going to skewer it, and um, we'll continue later on. Okay. Okay. So they have been skewered. Sounds kind of funny. Both ends. Now they're going to get ready to go into the um, rotisserie oven. We're here. We're going to set that for 60 minutes. We got it on uh, rotisserie. And we're going to do a nice low and slow. Let's do, let's do like 250. Okay. We have our Cornish hens. As you can see those little guys just dancing inside there. All right, we're going to close them up. And we got it set for 60 minutes. So we'll check the temperature when that bell rings. It's auto shut off, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to set it for 250. I like to do it nice, low, and slow. I would have chose to go 200, but uh, that's really slow, but more tastier. But anyway, the next scene will be when I come back. Okay, here we are. Our timer has sounded. And now we're going to go and check it. Hook them and see what we get. We're at 170, 180. And we're going to turn it off. And then we're going to let it sit for a few minutes before we pull it. Well, there you have it. A simple, easy to prepare Cornish hen, otherwise known as that little chicken. Don't be afraid to try something new or venture out and try something new. Yeah, they're really good. They're really tasty. Uh, very juicy, very succulent. Let it rest for a little bit before you decide to cut it open. You don't want that juice to fly everywhere and then have a dry meat. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, new video for the new year. I know I've been out for a while, you know, the Christmas break. But now we're going to resume back to our uh, schedule scheduled program. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed it here on Eating to Live.